Hello and welcome to I Want to Grow, and I Want to Grow is all about that, right? It's about our growth. But with our guests, it's how they help others grow. And we're celebrating 90 years, 90 years of the British Council. Just imagine how many people they've helped along the way, created ripples into waves. And we've got a wonderful guest on the podcast today. Dr. Abdullah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for your invitation. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Uh, I'm... I'm uh, Working with them in high school, uh, managing some program, uh, for example, uh, National Scientific Research Week and uh, some activities for high school. Uh, Fame Lab Academy now, this is the new, I mean, uh, uh, phase of uh, Fame Lab targeting high school student. Uh, before we had, I mean, with the British Council, Fame Lab International for adult, but Qatar has the, uh, I mean, um, optional to, 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 to implement it for high school at that time. Wow, that's impressive. And and QRDI, you're you're working with them as well. How is that developing? It's you're doing wonderful things in Qatar. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you with what you do? Yes, we. Are, I mean, now I mean this is the like I said. Okay, but QNRF became part because before we were we were in the uh, Qatar National Research Fund, but we're dealing more in the research. But now in uh, for high school also, we. I mean. Um, encourage the student to do innovation because QRDI is focusing more on innovation project. But uh, right now we have uh, innovation in school for, I mean, uh, competition beside, I mean, research, scientific research. And we, uh, our students participate in the international competition like ITEX in Malaysia. And last year we won uh, 10 gold medals around, I mean, uh, with them I in uh, Asian countries. That's so impressive. How did, it must be wonderful to see your students now going into the innovation side of things. What is the response that you're getting with the students? Uh, really, we see now, I mean, uh, our students more enthusiastic about the innovation and uh, more research, more research we find, more, I mean, going to the I mean, uh, uh, STEM project, okay? They, I mean, students, they uh, love to do work with the I main project more than and now, I mean, uh, research, scientific research. And uh, student, I, I suppose I, I've been speaking to a lot of kind of uh, principals of big schools here in Qatar. And things are changing with students now. They've got so many, um, so many iPads, so many things that they're using, so much technology is out there. That I suppose it's difficult to keep up. But you're getting this innovation. They're keeping up with it and they're enjoying it so much. Now you've got to keep up with their demand. Like we today, I mean, our I mean, uh, topic about Fame Lab. Fame Lab also, I mean, I mean, uh, helping student also for innovation because the student um, uh, learn some skills, you know, how to uh, think about uh, science and the project and how to, I mean, uh, make it simplify uh, complex idea uh, and uh, learn more skills for, I mean, uh, doing presentation in front of the public or in front of the audience. And um, yes. Who's been the driver of all this? Who has driven this this program uh sometimes you have you know we focus for many i mean activity like i said we have national scientific research uh, week uh, included many activities now one of them fame lab uh, academy the final fame lab academy will be in the in the uh, national scientific research week beside this many activities like uh national scientific competition and also, I mean, innovation part of the uh, National Scientific Research Competition. Uh, we have also many uh, activities besides this. Work, I mean, workshop for the, I mean, uh, teachers uh, in the National Scientific Research Week. Um, different kind for recycling, for innovation, for how, how to use lab, okay, and safety labs and many. And uh, uh, experts, they come to, I mean, uh, the, to do presentation or workshop for, I mean, teacher. 
during the week. Also, we have, the, like I said, Fun Corner. It's like Fun Science Festival. Uh, this year we have uh, with um, uh, 10 uh, companies and university uh, participating in this. We have a special award. Also, a special award we have uh, with uh, 14, uh, I mean, uh, uh, companies and universities they participating. Especially was very, I mean, important, you know, to I mean, encourage students more. And each company, like uh, for example, uh, Shell Company and uh, Total, and they come to select some interesting, I mean, uh, project. And and uh, they like I mean um, I mean for example to 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 I mean help students and uh, support them in their project uh, belong to their I mean uh, uh, interest also you know the leadership of the country has been pushing this from the very beginning in trying to encourage people into these areas they've done a magnificent job is that really helpful when it, it when when with your schools and colleges because i think you said shake a miasa or shake yeah because uh, yeah um, like i mean uh, in qrti we have the series of the program starting from the k to 12 until the mprp the, i mean the biggest uh, program so i mean very important for capacity building uh, working with it because uh, uh, those students will be, I mean, uh, scientists in the, in, the, in the future, okay, and researchers in the future. Uh, important to, I mean, focus in this level, we focus on this level, because this level is very important to learn about the research and learn about the innovation and uh, ethics in the, in the research. When we reach the university, we'll be more familiar with uh, all, I mean, type of the research and the ethics uh, rules. Yeah, I, I, I remember going to magnificent facilities that we've got in Qatar, but I remember going to the science, uh, the science and technology um, club, which is in Abu Amur. That's an impressive place. That's a, for, for science. Mm. Science club. Science club. Yeah. Okay. Also, Science Club, we have, I mean, uh, relationship with them. Uh, in National Scientific Research Week, they participate in different, I mean, activities. And uh, really, they, they support, uh, I mean, student uh, project. Uh, I mean, sometimes they adopt them, you know, yeah. project and to improve uh, their project. Um, let's move on to the, the relationship that you've had with the British Council. What's been the most significant outcome of the partnership between QRDI and the British Council, uh, the British Council in delivering Fam FameLab Science Communication Program? Yes, uh, <clears throat> uh, the most significant uh, outcomes of uh, uh, the partnership with the British Council between British Council and QRDI. Uh, clearly, I mean, include the uh, uh, successful training, for example, initial training and uh, for, I mean, younger scientists and uh, master training uh, and encouraging students to find uh, their voice to communicate with the wider public. Um, how does FameLab help enhance the communication skills of young scientists and researchers in Qatar? Yeah, FameLab... Uh, uh, very interesting science communication, improving the com uh, uh, science communication and helping uh, teacher and young scientists and students uh, and teach them how to simplify complex idea and uh, uh, present an engaged way and um, using uh, storytelling and uh, technique of presentation. Nice, nice. Um, how does a FameLab program impact the local scientific community in terms of fostering public engagement in science? Yes, um, FameLab providing the platform, you know, for uh, young scientists to present their work and present their, I mean, idea in uh, front of the public uh, in easy world. Because FameLab uh, has three pillars, you know, uh, content in the STEM, clarity and charisma. And the student become, you know, more, I mean, uh, yeah, getting more experience when they, I mean, learning from the fame lab. This is the offer fame lab. It's, it's so important for them to express themselves and their ideas and concepts. Exactly, exactly. With the, with the, um, with the British Council, how, what message would it be for them that you would give to them on their 90 year, years of anniversary? Yes, because, you know, uh, uh, since 2015, we started, we ran it for six years, and uh, 
the like I said, okay, this is initiative from the Cheltenham uh, Science Festival, uh, brought it by I mean uh, British Council, and the British Council they uh, offer. Uh, Oh, they bring, I mean, the global expertise to Qatar to build uh, science communication and uh, to make uh, collaboration between uh, Qatar and the uh, International uh, Communication uh, Committee in the UK. They do wonderful work, the British Council, wonderful work. Yes. If there was one word, this is the hardest question you're mm. going to have. If there was one word to sum up the British Council, what would it be and the reason why? Uh, we can say uh, transformative. Because, you know, uh, uh, British Council, they uh, introduce a uh, new method and the technique and bring it to Qatar, okay, to, I mean, uh, uh, our schools and even the university uh, to learn more. And uh, because, you know, I mean, uh, FEMLAB also, I mean, stimulating, I mean, uh, younger generation uh, uh, to consider, I mean, uh, uh, careers in science and career in science uh, communication. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you so much. Your comments have been uh, amazing. Um, thank you for sharing your 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 thoughts on the British Council. It's been a pleasure having you here today. Thank you so much, David. Thank you so much.